This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. Hi, my name is Kelsey with Nyana Yoga, and this is Vivia Lotus, who's now eight weeks old. And today we're going to do baby and me yoga for strength. Um, we're going to start out with a little bit of a warm-up for the hips and the back. And then um, we're also going to be stretching the back with a forward fold. And from there, we're going to be doing some strength-based exercises using the body of your baby to help enhance the, um, the strength exercise. Since this video is about strength, you want to make sure that you're fully recovered after you've had your baby before you um, maybe practice this video. And that could be anywhere from uh, six weeks to three months afterwards. If you want to take it a little more easy, I do have a video called Baby and Me Yoga for the fourth trimester, which is that period of time uh, after you've had your baby up until three months. So be sure to check that out instead if you'd like to take it just a little bit um, more easy. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. Um, so to start, we're going to go ahead and hold the baby against your chest. She's sleeping right now, so it's a little more comfortable for her. And you're going to keep your toes straight ahead. The feet will be right underneath your hips and parallel with the outer edges of your mat. So they're going to be pointed straight ahead and then start to rotate your hips, just warming up the lower back. Try to take them all the way up to the side, all the way forward, all the way back, keeping your head in place. And let's go the other direction. Let's do a little bit of a twist here. So inhale at center, and then exhale, look behind you. Inhale at center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. After you're finished with the mountain pose and the standing circles and the twists, we're gonna come into Uttanasana or a forward fold. And before we get there, I'm just gonna explain a good way to hold the baby um, because the next thing that we'll be doing is uh, deadlifts using the weight of our baby. So my baby is about 15 pounds. She's two months old. Um, if your baby weighs a little bit more, if your back isn't feeling quite up to the task, then you can just fast forward through this section and pick up um, where you'd like to begin again. Um, a, a good way of holding your baby is in between the legs, supporting the head and the neck, um, like this, or even like this. So that's up to you. Okay, so we're going to come all the way down into Uttanasana. You're going to have your feet about hip width apart. Yeah, it's okay. And then round the spine until you reach the bottom, and you can gently sway your baby. This helps to enhance the stretch along the backs of the legs. And then from here, we're going to bend the knees slightly, and you're coming all the way up. So you're going to look straight ahead, keeping your back flat. We're coming into a deadlift. So again, look straight ahead, and then all the way up. We're going to do maybe about 10 of those. Hi. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Hi. We have two more. So now we're becoming into box lifts. So you want to make sure that your feet are about as wide as your mat. You can have your heels remain on the mat so that you don't slip out. The mat provides a little more traction. And we're going to come down with the knees going out to the side. And then when we come up, we're going to be lifting the baby up toward the ceiling. So make sure you look ahead of time, um, making sure that your ceiling is high enough and that you don't have anything in the way because you don't want to hit your poor baby. OK, so here we go. We're going to go down. And then come all the way up, lifting the baby up. Hi. Down. 
And then lift the baby up. We call these box lifts because it's like you're lifting up a box. Hi, it's okay. And then we'll do one more. Wow, and then hug your baby in. <laughs> mm. And from here, we're going to go into our goblet squats. And you want to have your feet about hip width apart. The toes are going to be pointed out a little bit. That external rotation will help to bring the work into your glutes and your hamstrings a little bit more than um, into your quads. So from here, make sure that you're at a, um, far not, a far enough distance between your feet so that you can squat all the way down by ke and keep your heels on the ground. And you're going to hold your baby underneath her armpits. And then you're going to come all the way down. This is where she can practice standing if she wants. Yeah, good job. Good job. And then you can come all the way back up. Try to keep a flat back. So this is malasana or garland pose. And then again. Good job, good job. And up. And down. And up. See, she's getting a strength exercise too by practicing standing. And I'll show you also from the side what I'm doing. Hi, good job, good job. And up. Down. Good. And we'll do one more. And up. Okay, from here we're going to go into a stationary lunge. And again, you're going to be using your, your baby's body to help deepen the um, exercise here. So it's a little bit more work to hold the baby. We're going to look at our quad and make sure it's directly underneath the hip. You should be able to see your leg. And the other foot is directly in front of you. And then from here, we're going to do some pulses. So you're going to bend down, and then we're just going to pulse. And it's nice for the baby because you're bouncing her up and down. So that's 10. That's 20. Almost there. And that's 30. So now we're going to switch legs. Again, after you step to your other foot back, make sure you can see your quad. So your knees directly below your hip. And you're going to come down and then pulse. That's 10. Twenty. Thirty. And we'll come all the way up. From here, we're going to go into a curtsy lunge. So we're going to step out to the side, and then you're bringing the other foot right behind you. You're going to stay up on the ball of your foot, and then almost like a plie. So step out to the side, plie. Out to the side, plie. So that's two on each side. We're going to go to 10. Just a few more. And then one more on each side. And we're done. Now that we're done with the curtsy lunges, we're going to face the top of our mats again. And we'll come into a forward fold or uttanasana. One last time to stretch out the back. So you can hold your baby in that cradle hold, one arm in between the legs, the other hand supporting the head and the neck, or the arm supporting the head and the neck. We're going to round the spine and then sway from side to side. Oh, it's okay. Then gently place her down. 
once you've come down to your mat, you might want to do something called Apanasana. So it's a yoga pose. It means wind relieving pose. And it's really good for babies because it does help to dispel the gas that they build up in their tummy, especially after nursing. Maybe wait a little bit after nursing so they don't spit up. Here you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> So we're going to come into a downward facing dog just to stretch out the back and the backs of the legs. And then you can pedal your feet. And then gently come down to the knees. Then we're going to cross the ankles to sit back. Okay, once you're seated, we're going to go ahead and come into a bridge pose. And then we'll end with boat pose. For bridge, you can hold your baby. Um, this time with their back against your chest. And then you can go ahead and lay all the way down. Your feet are about hip width apart, planted on your mat. You're going to hold on to your baby. And then you're pressing into your shoulders as, as you lift your hips all the way up. So your baby's going to be doing a little bit of an inversion with you. We're just going to hold. If your baby starts to fuss, it's okay to come down. And then gently come down. And then go ahead and prop yourself up on your forearms to come up, and we're going to go into boat pose. With boat pose, you can have the baby sitting on your lap, uh, just looking at you. <laughs> they usually like that. Okay, now we're going into boat pose. Um, real quick, I wanted to mention that uh, unless you've been checked for diastasis, which is that separation of your abdominal wall, uh, you don't want to be doing this particular exercise or do the modified version of it. And if you're not sure, you should have heard at your six-week appointment whether or not that um, is the case for you, then maybe just avoid doing it for the first three months after you've had your baby. Otherwise, we'll come into this modified Navasana or boat pose. You're keeping your shins about at a 90-degree angle from your knees, and you're holding your arms out. We're going to hold. And then lower. And we're holding. And then come up. Hi. And then lower. And then let's come all the way up and you can rock yourself forward so that your feet are planted. We love hearing your feedback, so if you'd like to, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below. We'd like to hear if you thought that this class was too easy, too difficult, or also if there's any particular issue that you found yourself dealing with after your pregnancy that you'd like to work on. If you'd like to check out some other Baby Me yoga classes, we have classes for flexibility, for balance, and also a Baby Me yoga class for the fourth trimester, which is that period of time after you've had a baby up into um, three months. So thank you. I hope to see you in another video. Namaste. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.